Nigeria <laughs> Shugabannin siyasa a Faransa sun yi gargadi game da sakamakon da matakin shugaba Macron zai iya janyewa na gudanar da kwarkwaryan zabe da aka yi da da mayar da martani kan nasar da masar ayyar kausu ka samu a zabukan nahiyar Turai shugabar jam'iyar ko kuma shugaban jam'iyar socialist Oliver Fo yayi kira da aka fa wata hadaka domin fafata da jam'iyar ta masar ayyar kau shugabar birnin Paris Anne Hidalgo ta ce bai kamata a sake shirya wani zabe ba yayin da ake dabdaba rawa sannan olympics jam'iyar masu ra'ayin rikan ta yi maraba da sakamakon zaben da ya bayar da mamaki tana cewa ta shirya domin tunkara komai goyen bayan da ake nuna wa jam'iyar masu ra'ayin rikan a nahiyar turai ya kara bayyana a mafi yawan kasashen da ke da karfin tattalin arziki a zaben da aka yi a ranar lahadi a italiya Jamia Prime Minister Giorgio Meloni ci ta samu nasara yayin da Ajamus jam'iyar masu ra'ayin rikau ta ADF ta tura jam'iyar shugaban gwamnatin kasar Olaf Scholz ta koma matsayi na uku jam'iyar ta sabta wato jam'iyar ta masu ra'ayin rikau ita ce za ta zama tana da mafi rinjaye a sabuwar jam'iyar da usiya majalisar Turai kakakin fada Kremlin Dmitry Peskov ya ce oke kara samu a fadin Turai Sakataren harkokin wajen Amurka ya isa Masar a ziyara a ziyarar da yake yi a yankin Gabas ta Tsakiya wato Karo na Takwas tun bayan fara yakin Gaza Antony Blinken zai nemo gawan bayan masu ruwa da tsakini domin tsagaye ta wuta a yakin da ake a Gaza Publicly much of Mr Blinken's visit to the region will be about urging Arab leaders. Wakili BBC yace yayin ziyara zai shawarci shugabannin Larabawa su matsawa Hamas ta amince da yarjejeniya tsagai ta wuta da shugaba Biden ya gabatar a karshen watan jiya. Mr Blinken zai je Isra'ila a ranar litinin domin tattauna da Prime Minister kasar Benjamin Netanyahu. Labarin duniya na zuwa ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC. Kungiya likiwa bada aga jiji ta likito chin dunia medicine sa mpronte taigar taiba yaani ngharenda aka kaya asabuti na karishida ki aiki ayanki ngalpashar da ki sudan. Kungiya tati wasida karin arasa bako ni saka kusa kai chikeng asabutu ngarana asabar saka ti dola akuli asabutu mbaki taya kamariya doni jami iya bayana. Two cars with seven soldiers stormed the facility and opened fire. Maximilian Koski yake cewa wasu motoci biyu ne da sojoji bakwai suka shigo asibitin suka kama harbi suka sace kayeki da wata motar asibiti ta kungiyar mu. Ya ce an yi sa'a lokacin majinyatan da ke asibitin basu fi goma ba domin an fara aikin kwashe su tare da magungunan da ke asibitin a ana mayar da su wani asibiti na daban tun a farkon wannan makon. Jami'an kungiyar da yanzu haka suna ta yin kurin gyara asibiti wanda babu wuta babu ruwa a cikin sa 
garin alfashir shine gari na karshe a yankin dafur da baya karkashin dakarun RSF kungiyar kwallon kafa ta Real Madrid ta lashe kofin Zakari Nahiya Turai a bana ta ce ba za ta shiga gasar Zakari Nahiyoyin duniya ba ta wannan shekarar saboda kudin gasar ba su taka kara sun karya ba hukumar kwallon kafa ta duniya FIFA ce ke shirya gasar wadda aka wadda aka wato sauya fasali kuma za a gudanar da ita ne a bana a Amurka Carlo Ancelotti is adamant his side won't play and he believes the 20 million Wakiliyar BBC ta ce kocin Real Madrid Carlo Ancelotti ya dage cewa kungiyar sa ba za ta buga gasar ba yana cewa dala miliyan 20 da za a ci a matsayin kudin gasar sun yi kadan za a gayyaci manyan kungiyoyin duniya zuwa gasar wadda ake saran za a fada ta zuwa kungiyoyi 32 to karshen labarin duniya kenan daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC to a gaida Abu Hairi Muhammad Fage da labaran duniya kuma rahoton ni kamar yadda watakila aka ji a cikin labaran duniya abokan hamayyar shugaban Faransa Emmanuel Macron sun zarge shi da jefa muku mar kasar a cikin barazana bayan martani kan sakamakon zaben majalisar dokokin Turai inda ya nemi a yi zaben cikin gida domin tabbatar da abin da yake fadi Mr Macron ya ci ayi wadannan kalamai ne domin tabbatarwar duniya kwarin guyewar da yake da shi kan al'umar Faransa bayan abokan sa sun sha kai a hannun masu ra'ayin rakawo gar hotan biki su baban gida Shugabannin siyasa a kasar ta Faransa sun yi gargadi game da mummunan sakamakon matakin shugaban Macron na yin kiran da a gudanar da zaben gaggawa na Bazata a wani martani ga samun galibar masu ra'ayin rikawa a zabukan Nahiyar Turai Shugaban Jami'ar Socialist Olivier Faure ya yi kiran da dauki kwarin mataki akan masu ra'ayin rikawo Jami'ar masu ra'ayin rikawo ta Rassemblement National ta yi lalle marhaban da gudanar da wannan zabe na Bazata suna mai cewa a shirye suke Yunel Barot shine ministan harkokin kasashen Turai na kasar Faransa ya kuma sheda BBC cewa jami'ar ne ya sansa Mr Macron ta tafi ta kawo masu ra'ayin rikaw burki a baya when you're engaged into politics you don't uh, fear about risks what matters yace muddin ka shiga fagen siyasa ba ka farga ba game da duk wata barazana abin da ke da muhimmanci shine ayyukan siyasa da dandalin irin manufofin siyasa da zaka gabatar wa yan kasar ka mun samu galaba akan yan jami'ar populist da nationalist a shekarar 2017 da kuma shekarar 2022 ina da yakinin cewa za mu sake ka yadda su a wannan shekarar ma that we can beat them again this year amma kuma magajar garin birnin Paris kuma ya jami'ar socialist An Hidalgo ta ce sake gudanar da wani zaben a dab da fara gasar wasan Olympic babu kwanciyar hankali a ciki amma shugaban committee shirye gasar wasan Olympic na kasa da kasa IOC Thomas Bach ya ce rudanin siyasa a kasar Faransa ba zai shafi wasannin birnin Paris ba yana kuma magana ne da manema labarai lokacin wani taro a birnin na Paris c'est un processus démocratique qui va pas perturber le jeu ya ce wadannan tsare tsaren siyasa ne da ba za su haifar da cikazo wasannin ba muna ganin alamar hadin kai a cikin gasar wasannin Olympic na shekarar 2024 a birnin na Paris kuma zaka ga alamu na tsananin yadda ake san wasan a nan Faransa za ta gudanar da zabuka za a samu sabuwar majalisar dokoki da sabuwar gwamnati kuma kowa zai mara wa gasar wasan Olympics bayani monde va supporter le jeux olympiques nuna goyen baya ga masu ra'ayin riko ya karu a cikin manyan kasashen Turai a zaben ranar Lahadi a gaida Bilkisu baban gida da wannan rahoton idan muka je Najeriya kuma gwamnatin jihar Plateau ce ta bayar da sanar bardage dokar hana yawo da ta saka tun a watan Janairu wannan shekarar a karamar hukumar mulki ta Mango da Kewaye gwamnatin jihar Kalifof to Agnesa kado kar har na tsohon awa 24 a kowace rana bayan wani harin da wasu da ake zargin yan bindiga ne suka kai a kauye kamfun shi da sabon gari inda suka kashi a kallama cin 13 tare da jaka ta karar wasu baya ga ko na gidajen jama'a da dama gwamnatin Plateau ta bayyana cewa an saka dokar ne domin a samar da cikakken tsaro da zaman lafiya tsakanin kafidu daban-daban da ke fadin jihar garotan Zubairu Ahmad Watan ne biyar kenan da suka dokar da ta haramci ga al'umar yankin na karamar hukumar mulki ta Mango da kewaye na fita wajen sai ga shi gwamnatin jihar ta fitar da wannan sanarwar da kaitar da tsohon umurnin gwamnatin jihar Kalem Mutawan ya ce sun dauki matakin ne bayan da aka lura da wanzar zaman lafiya a yankunan da rikicin ya shafa da farko kazalika an duba muhimmancin ba jama'a damar ci gaba da gurar da noma da kiyo da sauran sanawoyi to ko ya al'umomin yankunan na Mango suka ji da wannan mataki Malaya Hayya Billa Shanunu shine shugaban kungiyar fulani makiya ta mai ta Allah a Mango ya ce sun yi ba da matakin ya mun ji dadi kware da gaske 
to ni wannan daga shi ya ba mu dama mutane suna walwala suna zagawa da ka zaga ka samu gafula ne suna kiwo makafin suna noma a wannan lokacin sai dai akwai wasu gurare wanda har yanzu kabilan fulani ba su a iya zuwa saboda rashin tsaro wasu ka gurare kaman mangun amfan kiran da kombun wanda ba fulata ne dai ba zai iya zuwa wannan gurare ba to garin cewa an kwashe kusan watanni hudu zuwa biyar da saka wannan doka ta hane yawo wani hali yanzu al'umar fulani da sauran kabilu daban daban da ke nan jihar plateau suke eh to a gaskiya halin da ake ciki shekarun da ya wuce ba ai noma ba gashi kuma bana abinci yayi sada da fulani da mugabul gaba din kabilun da suke zama a wannan azris a gaskiya ana cikin damuwa musamman wa'inda suke cikin damuwa sosai wa'inda wannan rikicin ya safe su abinda za a ci ma yanzu damuwa ne so ma al'umar magabul da sauran kabilun yankin sun yi mara bada cewa wannan dokar hana fita manta wajal wani mazaunin mangune ya ci al'umma da dama sun taka yare lokacin da aka sanya dokar hana yawon musamman manoma da suka tafka hasara amma yanzu za a iya cewa kulliya ta biya kudin sabulu shirin wannan dokar gaskiya yana da kyau don ka ga yanzu shi na lokacin noma kuma mutane ya kamata su ya shiga gona amma ka ga da wannan dokar ya rage har kan tafiya gona kuma wanda yake tafiya kiwo ne dokar na ya rage masha don akwai abubuwan da zakai bayan ka dawo daga gona ne to wace shawara yanzu kuke da ita ga sauran al'umma na ganin an hada kai an zauna lafiya da kuma ita gwamnatin Chad Flatu mu ga mu jula gaskiya me yake faruwa kunnan abun da zai kyau yanzu a yi akan wannan abun shine maganar saro a sake ba da karfi a kan saro kuma a kawo gadiya makiyaya ko mun ki kuma su dole mu zo na tare director yadda labarai na gwamnatin Chad Flatu Gang Berry ya shida min cewa an lura da samun cikakken zaman lafiya ne a mango da kewaye kafin cire wannan dokar a bayanin da gwamnatin jira flatu ta yi ta bayyana cewa ta cire wannan dokar ne ta hana yawo domin a ba al'umma damar fita su yi noma da sauran sana'o'in su shin kullura cewa an samu cikakken zaman lafiya a wadannan yankunan to har yanda muke kokari yanzu shine a yanda muke ciki yanzu akwai akwai zaman lafiya na 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 shigowa a wutan jinerun wannan shekara ne gwamnatin Flatu ta bayyana damuwar cewa wasu mutane na son hada sarkici a jihar duk da kokarin gwamnatoci na kawo karshen ayyukan wadanda ta kira yan ta'adda inda gwamnatin jihar Kalin Mutuwan ya dauki matakin sanya dokar hana fita a mango a bisa abin da ya bayyana da dalilai na tabarbarewar tsaro a yankin Zubair Muhammad BBC Hausa Abuja Nigeria to a jamhuriyar Niger dake makwabtar ka da Nigeria gwamnatin Amurka ce ta fara janye da karanta daga kasar ma'aikatar tsara Amurka ta ce sojojin ta fi da 200 tare da kayan aikin su sumfuce daga kasar tun bayan ya rijije ni da kasashen biyu suka cimma a watan mayin da ya gabata ga Raliya Zubairu da cigaban wannan rahota a wani tare mane ma labarai da kasashen biyu suka kira suka sanar da janyewar sojojin Amurka daga Jamhuriyar Niger a hukumanci a jawabin sa wakilin ma'aikatan tsaron Amurka Manjo General Kenneth Ekman ya ce saukar jirgin rijinar sojojin zaman Amurka san farin C17 Globe Master a wannan rana ya nuna cewa a hukumanci Amurka ta fara shirin janye dakarinta daga kasar Indeed since the signing of the agreement on the withdrawal of US troops on May 19th 2024 more than 269 US personnel out of 940 Yace tun bayan shi janye da aka cin ma game da janyewar da karan Amurka a ranar 19 tare da an jaka ta karar wasu baya ga ko na gidajen jama'a da dama gwamnatin Plateau ta bayyana cewa an saka dokar ne domin a samu da cikakken tsaro da zaman lafiya tsakanin kabilu daban-daban dake fadin jihar garo Tanzania Ahmad
Watani biyo ni kienenda saka do kanda taa haram chiga alo umari yanki naka ramu hukumu umuliki tamangu da kiwa ya nipi taa wajan. Siga shi gwa mnati njara taa pita da wana sana rada kata da tsuhu umul nin. Gwa wana njara kala mtu wanki ya chizun da wakima taa ki nibayanda akal ura da wanzor zaman laa pia ya mkuda nda likichi nyasha paada paruku. Kazalika anduba maya manchi mba jama adamari chiga bada guranda nwe maa da kiwa da soran sana wii. Tukwe ya ala umumi ya mkuda nda mangu suka jida wana mataki. Mbale ya hiya bila shanunu, chine shukupa mkwengi fula ni maki ya hata mete ala amangu ya chesunye bada matakin. Ya mungi zaadi kore da gaske. Ni mwana ndaga hiya ba mudama muta nesuna walwala suna zaga wade kaza aga kasamu ka fula ni suna kiwo maka fun suna noma awana loka chen. Tende akwe usukura re wanda hari ya nzu kabila mfula ni baswa ya zua kasabu da reshin soro wansu kagura re kama mangun ampankirang da kombu ni wanda bapula ta ni debo zi ya zuwa wana mkura aramba so gari nchi wa amkwa shukusan wata ni hudu zuwa biyari da saka wana ndu kata hane yao wana hali ya nzu alu umuru fula ninda soran kabilu da banda ban da ki nan jahad pula tu suki etu agaskia hali nda ake chikiche karande ya uche ba aino maba gashi kumabana abunchi ya isada ya pula ni da mga bulga ba di kabilu nda suki ya zama wana agaskia ala chikinda muama sama mwa enda suki chikinda muama so sewe enda da wana rikiti nye sabisu abunda za achima ya nduda muwani suma alu umur magabu da sauran kabilu nyanki ni suyi mara abida chiri wana ndu karahane pita mantu wajal wana maza wana mwangu ni ya cha alu umar dama suunta ka yara luka chenda akasinye du karahane yaun musama manu maadu suka tabka asara ama ya nzuza ee chiwa kuli ya tabi ya kuna sabulu chire wana ndu kaya ya sikia ya na rikyo ya mi kage ya nzushi na luka chini na umar umar muta nye ka mata na nshi ka guna umar kage da wana ndu kaya yara gari harkan tufiya guna kuma wanda yake tufiya kiwo ne dokar na yare je mun sha don akwai abubuwan da zaka yi bayan ka dawo daga guna ne to wace shawara yanzu kuke da ita ga sauran al'umma na ganin an hada kai an zauna lafiya da kuma ita gwamnatin Chad Flatu mu ga mu juna gaskiya me yake faruwa kunnan abun da zai kyau yanzu a yi akan wannan abu shine maganar saro a sake ba da karfi akan saro kuma a kawo ganiya makiyaya Directing at the library, no community in Jarf Lato again, very Yashida Minchua, Alura, the Samuel Chicken Zaman Lafia, and here among the Kiwai, Captain Chiru and Dukar. The Mongo, the one who went to the Mandasia, Saman Amangu, concerned to a government to Tasa, Dukata, Pachi, Mayanzu, and Daga, that of me, Abamu Tanitama, Suyi, Idanada Ayukansu, and Maruka. Uchiwa ba abunda ya kizaman lafia Udanga kizaman lafia Api abubwa diya wa andazamu mura Kama nagata bangari kumeti Abayani nda gumeti njana flati ute Itabayi na chiwa tachiri wana nduka nita hana yao Dome aba aluma da marfita asu inu wa da soran sana u insu Shin kulu rechi wa ansa mchike kenza man lafia Awada na nyankuna Tu hayenda mke kwa kari ya nishini Tu hayenda mke chiki ya nzu Akwe Akwe zaman lafia na 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 shigowa Awata njineuru mwana shikara ni Gumnati mfulati utaba ina damori chiwa Usumuta ni na soha da sari kichi ajar Duda kwa kari gumnati uchina kawa Karisha ayuka mwana nda takira enta adda Inda gumna njari kale mutu wanki ya doki mataki ya nsangi ya dukara hana vita amangu Abisa abinde ya baye na Dada dilei na tabarabali wa nzaru ayinkin Zubairo Ahmad BBC Hausa Abuja Nigeria To a jumhura Nigeria da ke makwabtaka da Nigeria gwamnatin Amurka ce ta fara janye da karanta daga kasar maikata tsara Amurka ta ce sojojin ta fi da 200 tare da kayan aikin sa sampuce daga kasar tun bayan yarjejeniyar da kasashen biyu suka cimma a watan mai da gabata ga Radio Zubairo da cigaban wannan rahota a wani tare mane ma labarai da kasashen biyu suka kira suka sanar da janyewar sojojin Amurka daga jamhuriyar Niger a hukumanci a jawaban sa wakilin ma'aikatan tsaron Amurka Manjo General Kenneth Ekman ya ce saukar jirgin rundunar sojojin zaman Amurka san farin C17 Globe Master a wannan rana ya nuna cewa a hukumanci Amurka ta fara shirin janye dakarinta daga kasar Indeed since the signing of the agreement on the withdrawal of US troops on May 19th 2024, more than 269 U.S. personnel out of 946. 
ya nuna cewa a hukumance Amerika ta fara shirin janye da karanta daga jamhuriyar Niger a dan bangaren babban Hafsan hafsoshin sojin kasa ta jamhuriyar Niger din Kanal Manjo Mamman Sani Kyau ya ce kasashen biyu sun kafa wani committee hadin gwiwa domin guda da wadannan ayyuka cikin sauki tare da fahimtar juna kuma tuni committee ya kullo da tsarin tafiyar da lamuran da suka shafi sha'anan ba da izinin tashi da saukar jiragen sama da kuma yadda ayyar motocin sojojin Amurka za su tashi daga wasu garuruwa zuwa Yamai da Agadez le representant des deux parties se sont engagés à ménager aucun effort pour la réussite de ce retrait ya ce game da abubuwan da aka tsara a yajen ya sha tara ga watan mai bada bangarorin biyu sun amince da bukatar daukar wasu kwararrun sojojin Amurka da za su yi aikin tattara kayayyaki a sansanin sojin sama na 101 da ke yammai da kuma sansani na 201 da ke yankin Agadez gwamnatin Amurka dai ta ce nan da ranar 19 ga watan satumban da ke tafiya ne take fatan kamala aikin janye da karanta fiye da dubu 1 da ke jamhuriyar Niger wadda ta tura karkashin shirin ta na yaki da ta'addanci a yankin Sahel Radias Biro BBC Hausa a Abuja Nigeria to da haka agogo miki cewa karfe 3 da kwata a Nigeria da ma Niger biyu da kwata kina agogon GMT Umay Masani Abdul Mumin ke gabatar da shirin rana kai tsi daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC kuna iya garza ya shafa mu na bbchausa.com domin karanta wasu labaran da muka wallafa babban labaran mu a yanzu nan cewa NLC ta yi watsi da naira 62 kuma ta yi baraza na sake tsindama ya jin aiki a Nigeria kenan ba cikin shirin za mu sake komawa Najeriya inda kamfani dan gwate na signed truck da ke Lagos ya kaddamar da shirin sarrafawa da hada manyan motoci amma yanzu bari mu yada zango a Sudan inda likitoci a daya daga cikin asibitoci na ƙarshe da ke aiki a yankin alfashar na Sudan suka ce an tida sa musu rufe asibitoci ko rufe asibitin sakamakon wasu harhare da aka kaddamar asibitin da ke samu agaji daga kungiyar likitoci ta Medicine San Francisco shine na ƙarshe a alfashar da ake bai wa fararan hula da aka jikata kulawa ga rahoton mulki sun baban gida an shafa kwanaki da dama ana bada rahotannin lugudan wutar da ke fadawa akan asibitin birnin tare da haddasa jikata da mace-mace amma yanzu shedu na cewa mayakan rundunar RSF sun shiga cikin harabar asibitin a ranar asabar ne dai suka kusa kai cikin asibitin tare da bude wuta da kuma kwashe magunguna da kayan aiki har ma da sace wata motar daukar marasa lafiya tare da farwo ma'aikatan asibitin Wungiyar likitocin bada agaji ta Medicine San Frontier MSF ta ce sakamakon tashin hankalin tawagar ta ta gaza tantance hakikanan gaskiya wadanda suka mutu ko jikata inda ta ƙara da cewa tabbas asibitin na kusa da fagen daga don haka zai ci gaba da kasancewa a rufe a halin yanzu har na rana asabar dai wata alama ce da har ila yau ke nuni da cewa babu dokoki a cikin yakin basasar kasar ta Sudan Sojojin kasar ta Sudan da suka shafe tsawon shekara guda suna fafatawa da mayakan rundunar RSF da na shan fuskantar zarge-zargen aikata cin zarafi da gallazawa fararan hula a fadin kasar amma ta wani bangaren kuma rundunar RSF ita ma ta tilasta rufe asibitin da ake duba lafiyar fararan hular ana shan bada rahotannin cewa kasar hadaddiyar daular Larabawa ce ke mara wa rundunar ta RSF baya zargin da mahukuntan kasar ke musantawa mutane fiye da 115 ne dai aka girdige cewa sun rasa rayukan su a fadin kasar tun bayan barkewar tashin hankalin a watan Aprilin shekarar 2023 a yayin da kusan miliyan 9 suka tsere daga gidajen su rundunar ta RSF ta karbe ikon kihar jazira dake kudancin kartun babban birnin kasar ta Sudan a cikin watan Disamba kana an zarge ta da aikata cin zarafi da gallazawa fararan hula zargin da take shan musantawa Rahotan Bilkisu baban gida kenan to yayin da yan Afirka suka rungumi wani saloko yayi na neman shiga kundin tarihi na Guinness World Record wata matashi a Ghana Fatima Zara ta gwada na ta sa'ar ta hanyar koyawa mutane 300 yadda ake hada sabulu a cikin kwanaki 3 Fatima Zara mazauniyar birnin Accra ta ce duk da cewa tana neman kafa tarihi a duniya da shiga cikin wannan kundi na bajin ta borin ta shine karfafawa matasa wajen rungumar sana'o'in dogarau da kai ga dai fahad Adam da karin haski a cikin wannan rahotan ndi ayiko mana daga abarna akra.
Yanzu dai a kasar Ghana an samu wata gasa ta rige shiga littafin nan na World Guinness Book of Record. Wata kila shine abin da ya hauba sa wata matashiya Fatima Zara da aka fi sani da jadawa mai sabulu ta shirye wani taro na karfafawa matasa domin koya musu sanar hannu in power inda aka yi wa mutane ne sama da 300 yin sabulun ruwa garin sabulu sabulun wanka da dai sauran su. Mu apply for she Book of Record she suka ce mu yi sabulu mu yi longest yi sabulu like sabulu ya kishawa me ba ki sha'awa har kika zo kika ce bari ki goyi wannan ɗan so da ina ga zan na da aikin ami ya min isu ina da aikin ami ban ta tambaye ku duhun wani kamar da an ba ta goda muna da ake yin ni ku stop da wash wangan nan ya sa ku na yin decide no in tin sai ingredient ga samu mu sai mu mutane samu kudin ni me bin duba kaina so na na mai muna sosai mun koyo sabulun wanka mun koyo floor cleaner wato abun goje kasa kasa Kuwe Kudi <laughs> karufa ma iyalin ka asiri ka zama wani da ke da amfani a cikin unguwa a cikin jihan ka Rashin aiki tsakanin matasa dai ya zama ruwan dare a kasar Ghana abin da yasa wasu masana da suka halarci taron suka yaba da shi kuma suka yi kira da al'ummar zango da su ci gaba da shirya irin wannan tarurruka Muhammad Fahad Adam sashin Hausa na BBC daga Accra Ghana to idan muka saki hukuma wa Najeriya ta ma batu ne na taimaka mata sanin kuma inganta tattalin arziki inda kamfanin dan gwate na sign truck da ke lega sai kadamar da shirin sarrafawa da hada manyan motoci dubu goma a kowace shekara ana son ran ayyukan masana'an tattaki kirar motoci a Najeriya za ta samar da ayyukan yi ga kusan mutum dubu uku a fadan kasar da kuma bunkasa tattalin arziki wakili mu na Lagos Umar Shehu El Yaman na dauke da rahoto Shugaban kamfani dan gwate Alhaji Aliko dan gwate ya bayyana cewa ya yanke shawarar saka hannu jari a kamfani hada manyan motoci na sun shaka don daukaka darajar kasar da kuma rage shigo da motoci da kasashen waje ya kara da cewa masanantar za ta kira trailoli iri iri da na tipa da nufin samun wadatuwa a cikin gida da kuma yi wa kasonin yankin ya mutafar ka hidima ta nuna wannan madaki wani gagarumi ci gaba ne a Najeriya kuma ya daidai da babban burin kasar da manahiyar Afirka baki daya na samun sauyin tattalin arziki da kuma iya dogaro da kai 
masu antar su nauko ta mace afirka da ke a Lagos za ta kera manyan motoci kusan dubu goma a kowace shekara kana ta bangaren samu da yake yi zai zo da yawan ma'aikata ke mari dubu uku masu na tattalin arziki kasa kamar Alhaji Shuaibu Idris sun bayyana cewa mataki na kamfanin su nauko babban nasara ce da Najira ta dade tana kokarin fafaro da shi wannan auratayya da kamfanin tango ta suka shiga da wannan kamfani na kasar sun wato su nauko wani abu ne wanda za mu iya cewa abin alfahari abin jin dadi abin iya addu'a mu Allah ya albarkaci wannan aure da aka yi ba dan komai ba saboda ababe guda biyu ko uku na farko dai maimakon ana shigo da motoci daga kasashen ketare za a shigo da karafunan da za a zo nan Najeriya a hada motan a tada ita kamar yanda da muka yi a jahara Kaduna lokacin da ake da kamfanin yin Fujo ko anan Lagos lokacin da ake da kamfanin Thailand ko a kasar Inugu lokacin da ake amfa kamfanin Mandizal da yake da kuma na Stair da yake bauchi kusan abin da muka yi da a shekaru 1975 zuwa da 80 shine ake kokarin a dawo da shi in Allah ya taimake mu wannan abin ya bin kasa har lokacin da Najeriya za ta fara sarrafa ta ma da karafa ka ga wata kila ma za mu dai ne shigo da motoci gaba daya kenan sai dai komai a yi shi a nan Najeriya to fa kike ganin gwamnatin tarayya za ta taimaka ta bangaren manufofi da kuma sarrafa abubuwa cin wannan karni da muke ciki wani kamfani ya taso ya zo Najeriya ka ga idol Ainaam da shi a ba shi tallafi misali hutun haraji na wasu dan shekaru kuma inda ta za a taimaka a taimaka ka fahimci cewa za a samu ayyukan ni masana antar kira manya motoci kamar trailer trailer da t3 za ta iya gogayya da sauran kamfanoni a duniya snoko na yammacin afirka dai wani kamfani ne na hadin gwaiwa tare da jarin dala miliyan 100 wanda za su iya sarrafa kusan manyan motoci 10000 a duk shekara Umar Shehu Eleman BBC Hausa daga Lagos Anajeria to an yau kuma tawagar Super Eagles ta Najeriya za ta fafata da yan wasan kasar Jamhuriyar Benin a cigaba da neman gurbin shiga ga sarkin kofin duniya da za a gudanar a shekara ta 2026 Najeriya a yanzu ita ke mataki na biyar a rukunin sa na cha kuma tana fatan garin ta yi nasara a karan farko a fafatawar su ta yau bayan kunnen doki a karawa uku da ta yi da Lesotho da Zimbabwe da kuma wasan su da Afirka ta Kudu na ranar Juma'a Bashar Hayati Jantile shine mai wakiltar kwamitin da ke kula da wadannan wasanni a Najeriya kuma yanzu haka yana can kasar ta yi Benin tare da tawagar Super Eagles ga kuma karan bayani da yayin dangane da shirye-shiryen su na yau Ga mun so ka ji a Abidjan ta da dan bandun nan kuma abun burgewa shine dan Najeriya kowa yana da tunanin yadda wasan ikkar wanda ake na ranar Juma'a a Kuyuwa a Fadi Hon da South Africa kamar yadda ba duk yaki ba wannan kuma wasan da za a yi da muhimmanci a wurin sun dan kasar Benin da kuma Najeriya ta yi guda uku din ta tafi ba a jikar ta yi canjarar guda uku ta da bayan uku wannan shi ne uku wanda za a fara yau wanda idan ta ci ita kuma ta koma ta ce shi ta ce jagorancin wannan kankuni wanda shi ne mutane ban sani ba ko mutane a sun nuna damuwa da yawa amma su gane cewa akwai lagoro wasanni guda bakwai wanda za a yi nan gaba kusan wasanni goma kenan za a yi wasanni goma amma inda yau mun zo da su da safe bayan an karin kumallo an tattauna da su da shawari da matsayin su abun burkewa shine sun dan wasan nan fiye da South Africa ma da muhimmanci zuwa da yunan su na farko binin yawanci akwai dan Najeriya wanda suke gaba su dai wanda ke wato shi ne kular da wasan nan binin gadar road ya koyo wanda kuma dan Najeriya shekara shi da yasan dan Najeriya mutumin sa ma a duk kullu dan Najeriya ne to suna ganin cewa wanda kamar wasan ke tsakanin Najeriya da Najeriya za su yi mutum da wanda suka san su malam bashir idan aka yi la'akari da wasannin baya da ira rawar da ita tawagar Super Eagles din ta taka kana gane a wannan lokaci za ta yi kokari kwarai da kace ai wasan da aka tsare ma na cin kofin Afirka na Afkon da aka yi a nan Abidjan kamar wuta biyar da ya wuce su suka zo wasan kashi ko wani dan bandi ne ba can da ba saboda haka a shirye suke da sanin cewa wasan ne da muhimmanci kuma sun nuna mana cewa cewa sun dan wasan nan kamar cewa shine wasan kashi wanda idan an ci 
Thank you.